Gizmo is just W E R. You go into draw mode, and this is sculpting, and then and that's uh, Q. And you can hover over anything in the ZBrush interface. It'll show you the hotkey, as well as if you hold down the control key, it'll give you even more information on that. So, for example, I can go into draw mode. If I hit W, that'll go into gizmo mode. And if you'll notice that like move, scale, and rotate doesn't do anything to the gizmo because the move, scale, and rotate by default is all through here. There is actually a plugin. If you do a Google search for ZBrush plugins, go to the Picologic Download Center, or just click on the ZBrush plugins uh, link. Z Color, if you saw the new Oh, I need to download this and try it out. The Friday presentation at the ZBrush Summit. They went over this a little bit, as well as this Metal Quotes and Intersection Master Masker. But if you scroll all the way down here, you're going to see there's a gizmo swapper. So this will allow you to use a, for move, scale, and rotate, it'll just have move, it'll just have scale, and it'll just have rotate. I like having all three, but if you don't, go download the gizmo swapper and uh, install that. Your Z plugins will end up being over here. So in the Pixelogic Download Center, the very top, these are the ZBrush 2018 new ones that just came out. Um, all of these plugins here are already pre-installed, but if you need to reinstall them, I guess you can get them here. And then all these ones down here uh, were created by Pixelogic employees, and you can install them. All you need to do to install them is you just click the download page. You It'll give you a zip file. You can 7-zip those extracted files. And then, again, just go to your uh, C program files, Pixelogic ZBrush 2018. Z startup, Z plug 64, and you're going to put your data folder in there, your Z script in there, probably restart ZBrush to be the safest way to go. Uh, then go to your Z plugins, and then you'll have all your new plugins. They'll be over here, and you can use them however you'd like. We got this guy here, and what we're going to do is poke a hole through him. There's a lot of different ways to do this. One way is if you're using Dynamesh, like we were just talking about. Geometry, Dynamesh. I'll go ahead and turn off blur. So now we have this thing Dynameshed. If we go to BI brush insert primitives, uh, you can go through here and you can select one. You can also hit the M key and we'll say insert cylinder. We can drag this out. If we drag out and then drag back in, it'll make it thinner. That's a feature. And if you start dragging out, you hold down control, it'll snap it to your brush size. Also, if you drag one out and then you hit W and you hold down control, it'll drag off a copy. Also, if you drag one out and you uh, have your gizmo here, I'm going to hold down Alt and hit this reset orientation. If you want a lot more gizmo functionality, again, ZBrush 4R8, what's new? Gizmo, all about the gizmo is the first like five videos. I'll go ahead and link you guys to that again. And that'll show you all the gizmo stuff. But one cool thing with the gizmo is you can hold down control, start dragging, let go of control, but keep dragging. And that'll go ahead and spit out these copies. Like so, you can also use a ray mesh, which we'll get to in a bit. 